<clears throat> As you can see, I've been to war. On Thanksgiving night, rather than online, ceased to be online. And the red icon came on on my router thing, a majig, DSL thing, Wi Fi thing. And while there was a some reason to believe it was a systematic systemic problem. Well, uh, the Paderewski twins here, Paderewskis of Click, decided they better go check it out. Check it out, check it out, boy. They get into those things, there are 500 factors. 500 factors involved in connecting to the web. And they all have to be right. Or it just stares at you with this red icon. Well, Netgear has got a owner's manual and a display and all that shows the settings of everything. So I took a look. And the DSL things were mostly blank. So what is it I need? DSL things? No. No. So hours later it turned out what I need was security fixings. Now why do we have all this security? Well, about 90% of the reason is it's paranoid and it sells good. The salesman in the computer world had a long time trying to find something to sell real well and it turned out it was security. So that's one of the reasons we have so much security. Another is, there is some reason for it. Other than that. Uh. <coughs> So um, I worked on it through the evening. I wasn't getting anywhere. I checked over this and that box and the thingamajigs and the wingy wingies and the uh, DNSs and, the, and uh, all the, that stuff. And uh, oh, I went to bed. About 4 a.m. I got up. And kind of uh, looking through the list of stuff, Netgear's display, when you show it on X, uh, Explorer, Windows Explorer, you just click on anything and the directions show up next to it, but it has to be on Explorer before it'll do that. But that's very handy. So I'm clicking on various things, it comes up. And I get to the uh, security stuff. And, well, uh, uh, DSN or D DSN or DNS, or whatever it is, that's the name of the thing that you're trying to get hold of. And that's what I didn't have. The, the DNS server never heard of me. Hmm. Oh, there is about six, seven different kinds of uh, security. Uh, no security to uh, all the WPXs, PKs, and PEs, and WEPs, and everything begins with W is security. And they all work different. And some of them are compatible with one thing, and some of them may not work so good with Windows 7 since it's new. And there's all kinds of factors in there, and you never find out about them unless you want to make a life work out of it. <coughs> now, uh, my small computer wouldn't hook up wirelessly, so I went in and looked at the works in there, 
and where the uh, security thing was, said WIP, W-E-P, and it's a number that goes with that. You have to have that number, right, or you know, it doesn't work. Well, I put the number in the, in the net gear into that spot. That didn't help any, but I remembered it. <laughs> Key point. So, uh, in the middle of the night, I'm getting up, and I'm looking at all this WEP and WEW stuff, and i got to go to the simpler ones, because the more complicated ones, which formerly were working, aren't working anymore. And who gives a hoot anyway? I even was reduced to reading this book, about three pages. That's torture. That's against the Geneva Convention. But okay, so I've, I'm moving toward the simpler security, and just plain wet, don't do it, but wet with numbers. How tootsie! You put in a number, it converts it to four other numbers, then you pick one of the four, and set all your computers and stuff with that number in it, if you can find a place to put it, which is pretty tough too. <coughs> So I went to my little tiny computer, and it's a new one with Windows 7, and it's the one that I mentioned earlier where it already had a strange number in it, not the one I have in the Netgear. So uh, I figured that might be a clue. It was right the way it was the first time. Oh, so I go back to web with a number, different number because it generates a different number every time you use it or every time you engage it or turn it on. Okay. I popped that little number in there. Well, it has to be a big number, eight, nine, ten digits. And after hours and hours and hours and hours of staring at me and saying, what's the matter with you, you fool? You expect me to work? I'm not going to work as long as you're watching me. Suddenly, about two seconds later, it's working. Hey! So, all right, back to bed. After all, it's 4 a.m. So I'm up in the morning there, and I get the other computer out. And I'm running on wireless, and uh, so I, try, I can't find the web thing to put the number into. Oh, oh boy, I, I've been through all those boxes many times all the pop-ups and the panels and all that stuff. And you usually you stumble all over this web stuff and this security and this, but I couldn't find it. Well, uh, cable connections are working. Yeah. So uh, I finally stick a cable in this computer. Then I go and look at the cable adjustments and what pops up with all this web poop. I don't know what it's got to do with cable, whether it does or doesn't. But anyway, that's R45 cable. And, uh, so, huh. yeah, pop the number in there, same number as I use in a small computer, and the same results within that two seconds of things working. Well, I'm up in the morning. I get this beer. I come back this evening. Turn it on. Turn on the net gear, router, DSL, Wi-Fi, and up comes the internet icon, red again. Oh! I go to the uh, net gear uh, fix them up page and. Began to look like something's wrong with my password. Anyway, it works. But then I uh, click on save and it quits working. I have not kind of a clue there might be the wrong password in there. So I put the password in and it uh, works. 
Now tomorrow, if it keeps moving off when I turn it on, I'll make a permanent change in that password, otherwise I'm fixed. I will actually properly try to read this thing. Oh, it looks like four or five hundred pages there. Let's see what we got. Five hundred and thirty-eight pages. Well, I'll just stick to the tech stuff. Never mind the rah rah for the team. And a happy birthday to all. <coughs>